Ten years old Ankwa Lovett is one of the three victims of the Moliwe Road accident who is still left on the hospital bed at the Mbingo Baptist Hospital in Mutengene. He had a brain surgery, but he is recovering. He wasn't the only one with such injuries. One of the other patients also had a pelvic injury that was stable, but we needed to also determine the nature of it. So we also sent to Nimbe that same day for a pelvic uh, CT scan. And the patient never came back. We assume the patient is being managed in uh, the Nimbe Regional Hospital. The mother of Ankwa Lovett says the child still feels some pains. He complains in neck. So he he complains neck. about his neck after neck. having a fracture on his head. But he is improving, even though his eyes are swollen. Doctors are taking good care of him. We are just afraid of the bills. Since the accident of last March 31, 2023, calls have been made for the government to introduce speed brakes along the road. They should try to arrange the road in a way that two cars can never meet, like it is in Nigeria. For now, I think speed brakes should be introduced. When the accident occurred last month, eight victims were rushed to the Bingo Baptist Hospital in Mutengene, and without charges, they were being attended to. Once you are rushed to the hospital, it's our obligation as a hospital to ensure that you receive the best of care. I know Mutengene, Baptist Hospital Mutengene, is found in a kind of very accessible area and is beside the road where we are always ready and always sure to receive victims. One of the concessions of having a trauma center is to have an emergency unit. Out of the eight patients, Five have already been discharged, while three are still under observation at the hospital.